Hey guys, this is Mr. Barron here. Each week I'm going to be bringing you a different exercise with variations that will challenge you. Over the course of the school closure, I want you to remember a few things. Try your best to stay active. And so some of the things that I give you, they're not going to require any equipment or anything like that. It just takes your desire and want to. And they'll get you a good start on getting your 60 minutes of activity a day. One other thing is to share them with family members. So get them involved in it because it's more fun to work out with others or stay active with others. Ah. For our um, exercise challenge for this week, here's how the format will look. On the first day, Monday, you will do the regular version of that exercise. So in this case, it's going to be plank. Every variation that is introduced after that is also a variation of the plank. Um, for each day, you're going to do the exercise for 30 to 20, 20 to 30 seconds. Um, set a goal for yourself and do your best. If you want to go past that, you can. So now when we get to our second day on Tuesday, you'll add in the next variation which in this case is going to be the plank in or up and downs. On Wednesday, you'll add in the third variation. So that means you're going to be doing the regular plus two variations. On Thursday, you'll do regular plus three variations. And on Friday, when you get to the end of the week, you're going to do the regular plank plus all four variations together. Hang around and uh, watch as I do some demonstrations so you know how each of these. Hey guys, this week our first exercise challenge will revolve around the exercise called a plank. So I will show you a regular plank first. So on day one, this is what you'll do. Each time you do um, a variation of it or the exercise, I want you to try and set a goal for 20 to 30 seconds for yourself. So a regular plank, what we're gonna do is find something soft like a towel. I'll put my elbows on it just like this. I'm keeping a nice flat back as you can see right here and I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna engage my core and hold it. 20, 30 seconds. So that's day one, that's Monday. On Tuesday, we'll add another one. This is your next um, variation of a plank. This would be a plank up, down. So same thing here to start. Then I'm gonna go up, down. And remember, I'm trying to go for 20 or 30 seconds again each time. That's two. When you get to day three, and remember, you wanna add them all together as you go along so that when we get to the end of the week, we put them all together. These are called plank in outs. So on day three, we'll do plank in outs. My feet are going in and out, in and out. I can go like this. I can go fast, you can go slow, it's up to you, 20 or 30 seconds. Next one, we're going to do side planks. So this one we're actually going to go, maybe you've seen us do this in class, but we're going to go just like this, we're going to try and hold it, keep it nice and straight, right in line. If you want to make it harder, you can put an arm up, even harder yet, a leg up. Okay, so a couple variations, make sure you do both sides, 20, 30 seconds. Day four, we got our tennis ball here or any sort of ball will work. We're just actually gonna be sliding it back and forth as many times as we can in 20 or 30 seconds. You could even try and write your name in cursive. Okay, or write maybe this week's vocabulary word, but that would be day four variation. Once you get to Friday, put them all together. So that means we'll do our regular plank, we'll do our plank up downs, we'll do our plank in and outs, we'll do our side planks, we'll do our plank with our rolling ball, and that'll be your, um, your exercise challenge activity for the week.